Dodges one player, he dodges another, looks up, shoots, he scores! Ace said <laughs> I got it. What? The theme to our party. Yes? Singing! Oh, great idea! We can use this. <gasps> I'm really gonna love a singing party! <laughs> let's have a go, let's have a go. Oh, oh, my voice sounds loud. Yeah, it does. Hello, hello. We're gonna have a singing party, <gasps> everyone coming on. Sing my song. Sing Sing my song, cos we're going to have a party. I need to sing too. Oh, yeah, it's no good with just one microphone. <sighs> no, we can't have a singing party if only one of us is really loud. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, Rebecca. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Great! <laughs> it's time to play! Whose turn is it today? <laughs> Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? Could it be me? the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. Let's find out what we're playing today. Wow, so I've got a clown's head, a bee's body and a caveman's feet. No, that can't be right. Right, so what have we got on this time? A space helmet and a space suit. So what are we playing today? That's right, we're playing astronauts and we're going to blast off into outer space. So what do we need to know? First of all, Sid, astronauts are people who explore outer space. They look for things with a magnetometer, which is a bit like a huge metal detector. On the moon, there is less gravity than on our planet, which means you feel much lighter and can jump much further. And there are lots of planets in space. There is a red planet called Mars, and it is the fourth planet away from the sun. Right, so that's everything we need to remember. But do we need anything else? Wow, what's this? Some sort of grabber thingy. Well, I don't know what I'm going to need this for, but I'm guessing it will come in handy. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. La 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 la. Look, Rebecca. Can you guess what we're playing today? <gasps> You're playing it. Being a big marshmallow man. No, we're going to play astronauts, and we're going to blast off into outer space. I wish I was playing that. At least you'll be able to sing into that microphone as much as you like. Oh, yeah, of course. Cool. We'll see you later, Earthling. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. La, 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 la. Let's play. Come on, let's play astronauts and blast into outer space. Right, so here I am, ready to blast off into outer space. So what I think I'm going to need is some kind of spaceship. Something to take me to distant planets. Where am I going to find one of those? Ah, that'll do. I think I better get in. Wow, look at this. 
This is amazing! My very own spaceship. It's got lots of shiny buttons and things. I wonder what this one does. Ah, oh, hello. Who are you? I'm Susie Spaceship, your ship's computer. Are you ready for takeoff? A talking spaceship? This gets better and better. Hello, Susie. I'm Sid, astronaut Sid. All strapped in and ready for takeoff. Good. Please press the countdown button. It's the big red one in front of you. Ah, here goes. Commencing countdown. Engines on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, wish me luck. Four, three, two. Here we go. One, zero, zero. Zero. You haven't pressed the start button. Oh, <laughs> of course. Silly me. Whoa! We have liftoff. Wow, we're flying. We're going into space. We're in, we're in space. This is great, Susie. I wonder if it does any tricks. Going left. Whoa! <laughs> Let's try going right. <laughs> Come on, let's take it around. <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> this is really whizzy. Sid, I think that's enough. <laughs> oh, sorry, Susie. I couldn't help myself. If you look, you will see planet Earth that you've left behind. Your home. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, yes. Planet Earth. It looks brilliant. Blue and green and lots of wisps of white stuff. The whites are the clouds. The blue is the sea. Everything else is land. Wow. I didn't know that's what Planet Earth looked like from space. And now you will see Space Station Apollo. Commence docking. Docking? What's that? You need to park the ship. Oh, right. A bit like a car, then. Um... How do I park a spaceship? Um... I know. I'll try this. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oops! I think you should take some spaceship driving lessons. Cheeky. Let's play! Welcome on board, astronaut Sid. This is Space Station Apollo. Fantastic! I'm actually in a space station. So what do we have here? Lots of different bits and pieces. Whew, I wonder who they belong to. To me! Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello. I see you found my moon crystal. Oh, so that's what they are. Yes, they're very precious. And they break very easily. Oh, cool. Oh. Do they? Right. <laughs> I'll put that right back there, then. I believe you're the young man I've been looking for. Am I? I need an astronaut, and you've got astronaut written all over you. Have I? Where? No, not really. I mean, you look like an astronaut. Oh, right. I'm Science Officer McFly. Sid, very nice to meet you. <laughs> no, I need you to go over to the moon for <laughs> me. The moon? Really? Yes, I left my best robot there on my last visit. And I need a brave astronaut to go there and find him and bring him back. Oh, me? Brave? Of course I am. Astronaut Sid, at your service. You'll have to be quick. There's a meteor shower on the way. A meteor shower? Big, heavy rocks floating around. So make sure you're safely back inside the spaceship before it starts. Right. I'd better get a move on, then. Oh, hold on. What does your robot look like? He's called Rover 3000, and he's made of metal. He's the best moon crystal collector in the whole of the galaxy. You'll need this. It's a megaphone. Just press the button and call his name. 
he should come. Oh, a bit like a dog, then? Aye. Well, good luck, Sid. <laughs> Thank you. Oops. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be back with Rover 3000 in no time at all. Leave it to me. Aye. Nice job. I hope he finds my robot, though. Right. Susie, we're off to the moon. We have liftoff. Wow. Look. The moon. It's huge. How are we going to find a tiny pink metal robot on that? Oh, well, at least there aren't any meteor showers. Ten minutes to meteor shower. Oh, no. A meteor shower is on its way. We have to find Rover 3000 and quickly. Oh, no. Um, hold on. I remember. Do you? Yes, we need a large metal detector. A magnetometer. Yes. Have we got one of those? Yes. Press the blue button. <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh, look! That must be the surface of the moon. So we should be able to find a metal robot with the magnetometer. Ah, oh, there is Rover 3000. Could you land us, please, Susie? Commencing moon landing. This is one small jump for a Sid and one giant leap for Sid kind. Rover 3000, where are you? He can't hear me. Ah, I know. I can use the megaphone. Rover 3000, where are you? Where is he? That's him. He's running away. Quick. Come back here, you naughty boy! Where is he? Oh, I guess he's gone inside that crater. But how am I supposed to look in there to find out? I can't climb up there, not with this big spacesuit on. Oh, dear. Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? On the moon, you are much lighter and you can jump much further. That's what I need to do. I need to jump. One, two, and... Whee! Yes! This is a giant leap! Oh, yes! Wow! That was amazing! Oh, there he is! Hello, Rover 3000. Good robot. Oh. Rover 3000, come on. Oh, oh. Science Officer McFly's got a really good moon biscuit for you. Thought that would get him. What's that? You found a really good moon crystal. And Science Officer McFly would really like it. All right, then. Let's go and get it. It's an alien! Hello! My name is Sid. I'm an astronaut. Hello, Sid. Nice to meet you. Oh, you can speak English. Oh, uh, so can you? Yes, I can. Do you live here? I'm glad you asked me that question. I think I'm lost. Oh, dear. That's no good. I need to get back to my home planet, but I don't know where it is. Well, what can you tell me about your home planet? My house is on it. That doesn't really help me much. Oh, it's red. So your home planet is red and your house is on it. Hmm. Oh, I know. I remember, do you? Mars is the red planet. So your planet must be Mars. And that's the fourth planet away from the sun. Let's take a look. Look, there's the sun. And then there's Mercury. Venus, and Earth, the planet that we live on, and then the next one is red. So that one must be Mars. Oh, thank you, human. You could call me Sid. Well, I'd better be going. We were having lunch, and I popped into the kitchen to get some carrots, so they're probably wondering where I've got to. Yes, they probably are. Well, have a safe trip. <laughs> <laughs>
You too. And be careful of the meteor shower. Will do. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, I like aliens. They're kind of friendly. Whoa! There she goes. Goodbye, human. I mean, Sid. I wish I'd asked her for her name. Still, never mind. Let's get that moon crystal. Right, Rover, where is it? In that crater? Great, thanks. Ah! There it is. How am I supposed to reach that? It's too far down inside there. Oh, I know. I remember. I can use this. I knew it would come in handy. Nearly. 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 Yes. Got it. Right, come on, Rover. Let's get back to the spaceship before this meteor shower starts coming down. OK, Rover 3000, we're going home. You've made it just in time to escape the meteor shower. Three seconds to blast off. Three, two, one. Whoa. We have liftoff. Bye-bye, Moon. Let's play. <gasps> Rover 3000, you're back! <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> yes, and we found something. Oh, a rare moon crystal. It'll be the pride of my collection. <laughs> the clever boy, you are... And we met someone on the moon. You met someone? Yes, an alien from Mars. Well, I never. She was lost, but we helped her to find her way home. Well, you've had quite an adventure. Well, thank you for bringing Rover back. No problem at all. Well, we have had quite an adventure, but we'd never have been able to help without remembering everything we needed to know. Astronauts look for things in space using a metal detector called a magnetometer. On the moon, you feel much lighter and you can jump much further. And... Mars is a red planet, which is the fourth planet away from the sun. And it looks like it's time for us to go home. Well, Science Officer McFly, it's been great to meet you. Thanks for everything. Oh, no, you keep that. Thank you. Bye-bye, Rover 3000. Yes, I'm going to miss you too. I think it's time we went home. And there was this crystal, and I saw an alien. No way. Yes, a real, live alien. And very nice she was, too. Anyway, are you ready for this singing party? I am, but I couldn't find another microphone, so we're just going to have to take it in turns. Don't worry, Rebecca. I have just the thing. I can sing with this. And I can sing with this. <laughs> Playing astronaut. <laughs> Playing astronauts was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I love to play penguin because they're so funny. I love playing superheroes. I'm super strong like this. I like to play fairies and sprinkle fairy dust. It's fun to play. Start playing today. Let's play.